So if you're watching this, then you're probably here because you want to use the NEU mod, or you just really like our content. Either way, Mulberry wanted us to make this video to help you use the mod after its 2.0 update, and we honestly think that such a good mod deserves its own video. I really suggest watching till the end, as there might be some very very useful features that you never knew of that you could learn about in this video. So yeah, subscribe. And there's timestamps in the description and video chapters, so you can skip to any parts that you need. Getting started. So to get started, you're gonna obviously want to download the mod, and to do this, you just need to drag and drop it into your Forge mod folder. If you don't have Forge, I'll leave a download tutorial in the description for you. I also suggest using Optifine, Patcher, and Skytales with this mod, but that's a topic for our last video. Once you've installed the mod, restart your game and load into Skyblock. You want to type slash API new into the chat to get your API key, which will then automatically be used by NEU to make everything in this mod work. Then, type slash NEU to open up the menu to enable, disable, and customize all of the features of this mod. Item list and toolbar. The item list is one of the defining features of this mod, and it's probably what it's most known for. This list can by default create a little arrow that can be seen in your inventory, and when you hover over it, the item list pops out. This list lets you browse through a bunch of items to see what they do. You can left-click them to view the recipe, and right-click them to open a full wiki page in-game to read all about what the item does. And this is such a useful tool that you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. You can also press a hotkey, by default it's F, to save an item to the top of the list so you can come back to it later if you're gathering materials for something you need to keep checking. What makes this item list even cooler is that it updates from a server, meaning it will always be up to date even without having to update the mod, as soon as new items are added to the online database. In the option for this feature, you can find a bunch of customization options to change how your item list looks, as well as some options to change how it works, such as keeping it open permanently, showing vanilla items, or just disabling the tab altogether. You'll also notice in your inventory that there's a toolbar at the bottom, which has some useful tools like a search bar and quick commands TM. The quick commands in your inventory functions essentially like your skyblock menu, giving you access to the bazaar, auction house, pets menu, wardrobe, ender chest, and crafting table, all from buttons in your inventory. You can also quickly warp to the dungeons hub, the normal hub, and your skyblock island using these buttons. The search bar can be used to search for any item on the list. If you double click the search bar, it will blacken all other items except what you search, which allows you to find items in your inventory, menus, or chests way easier. There are also settings to modify how these work and where they are on your screen if you aren't happy with the default placement. Inventory buttons. Inventory buttons are a convenient way to add your own quick commands to your inventory. To access the buttons menu, Either type slash NEU buttons into the chat or access it from your NEU menu under the inventory buttons tab. At first, this looks a little daunting, but it's super simple. To add a button, click any of the empty boxes around inside your inventory and a menu will appear where you can put some information. In the command box, type the command that you would like that button to do. It can be any command including modded commands from other mods. Then, choose the background style that you want and think looks best in your inventory, and then choose if you want the icon to be an item, a head or an icon. From there, you can choose any icon you want for your icon by scrolling down the list or using the provided search bar to find a specific icon. Once you're done, you can click anywhere and the button will stay in your inventory, ready to be used whenever. To remove a button, you can just open it in the button editor and remove the command line. There's also some presets on the right which you can choose from which you might want to use, or you can share or use other people's button layouts with the copy and paste buttons on the left. Slot locking and binding. Slot locking allows you to lock slots so you don't accidentally drop them or dump them somewhere that you shouldn't. To do this, just hover over the item you want to lock and press L, or whatever you set the hotkey to. Simple, but there is more to it. Slot binding is another similar feature that works just like slot locking, but allows you to bind a slot of your inventory with a slot in your hotbar. To do this, 
choose the slot in your inventory you want to bind to a slot in your hotbar and press and hold L and then drag your cursor over to the hotbar slot you want to bind it to. This allows you to quickly swap between two items in your inventory slots by shift clicking them and is useful if you're in a situation where you need multiple tools or consumables that you want to quickly swap between two. You can change a few things about the behavior of this feature in the settings, like if bindings also act as lockings and if lockings work in the trade menu or not. Tooltip Tweets Tooltip Tweets adds a bunch of utility to the descriptions of the items you hover over in your inventory. The most commonly used one is the price information, which allows you some information about the recent prices of items so you know how much things are worth in real time. Another tooltip tweet gives information about what stats a reforged stone adds to items based on their rarity, which can be cycled through with arrow keys. Another one allows you to press shift on an item to see which enchantments are missing from it. And the last one shows you exact pet XP values needed for leveling up. These are all very useful to have enabled all the time and show you things that you will find very helpful but would never know without the mod. Overlays. Overlays are a huge utility that drastically improves the functions of most TOL items in the game. This includes showing you things like exactly which blocks a tree capitator will break, which blocks a blot zapper has selected, and where a builder wand will place its next blocks. There's an option to show you exactly where a nether warp will take you, and to zoom in if you want that. The ability to see the effective range of a minion crystal and the ability to show you what enemies a bone meringue will hit, and if it will break on a wall when thrown. There's also an option to smooth teleportation movement if you like that. Bear in mind that this animation is entirely client-side, and to the server and all other players, you will still look like you teleported instantly. There's also a farming overlay which automatically appears when you hold a hoe, which displays things like your XP per hour, the exact angel you're facing, your counters, and the speed that you are leveling up at. If there's some things you don't want displayed on your overlay, you can add or remove certain aspects of it in the settings and also change where on your screen it appears, or if it even appears at all. The to-do overlay is useful for daily players who always seem to forget things and displays common repeatable tasks that a player hasn't done yet on that day, such as experiments, daily commission bonuses, experimentation tables, puzzler and cake eating. This also displays the time left on your cake buffs, god potions, cookie buffs and resets for your daily buffs. And there is the option to make those only appear when the task is not done or close to expiring and as usual is fully customizable. Storage. If you hate organization, the storage feature is absolutely for you. This transforms your boring storage menu into something that resembles an ME system from modded Minecraft that displays all of the contents of all your backpacks and ender chests pages in one convenient screen. To set this up, you just need to enable it and then open all of your backpacks once so the mod knows what's in them and then you're good to go. Bear in mind that to open each page, you have to double click so that the mod complies with Hypixel rules. But that's a very small price to pay for literally having every single item you own accessible in one GUI without having to look for it. There is also a convenient search bar you can instantly find every item you own. If you're boring and hate cool things, there are some more traditional storage options too. You can do this whilst using the large storage GUI too. But there's an option to add a 10th hotbar slot specifically for your storage GUI. This slot is entirely visual, so nothing weird is sent to the server, and allows you to scroll through all of your backpacks in your hotbar and view a preview of what's in them, and then open your storage from the slot. It takes a bit of getting used to, but it can be handy to have so you can see things at a glance without opening any GUIs. As usual, there are options to customize all of the GUIs and controls so they fit better on your screen and on your eyes. Dungeons. This mod contains a lot of dungeon features, but if you're looking for solvers, then you aren't going to find them here, and you should probably use titles for those alongside this mod. The biggest of which is quite possibly the most complicated and customizable dungeons map you've ever seen in a mod. 
The controls are kinda hidden away, but you can type slash NEU map to open this menu with a bunch of customization options for your dungeons map. Have a play around with these options as you get given a preview and you can make the map fit whatever GUI you have. If you have a texture pack that supports it, the map textures can also be changed through that. The dungeon profit display shows how much raw profit or loss a dungeon chest will make you if you were to buy it from a dungeon, pretty self-explanatory. The dungeon when displays does something similar, giving you a fancy on-screen congratulations when you finish a run that tells you your rank and all of your stats on screen so you can quietly pretend you didn't get carried by your teammates. If you're not very observant, you can enable dungeons block overlays which change the colors of certain features in dungeons so you can see them better, like cracked bricks and chests. As with everything, you can customize colors, locations and information displayed in the settings of the mod. Enchanting NEU adds a cool enchanting GUI that shows you the cost to add or remove enchantments and shows you what you're missing and what you already have on your items to remove enchantments. There isn't much to say here, but there is a search bar because of course there is. There is also an experimentation table minigame helper that basically does the whole thing for you. You just have to click where it tells you to, to guarantee the maximum reward every single time. There's some customizations option in the slash NEU menu. Mining. The mining aspect of NEU is probably the largest feature in the entire mod and adds a whole bunch of utility that you're gonna want. The most basic of which adds waypoints around the dwarven mines that show you exactly where your commissions are and where all of the emissaries are when you finish a commission. There is also the ability to show a bar of how much fuel your drill has left, but those are just smaller QOL features. Some of the bigger features includes the mining overlay. This is a fat overlay that shows up on your screen and shows a bunch of information with all of your commissions powder amounts and your pickaxe ability cooldown, which works in the Crystal Hollows and the Dwarven Mines. There is also a Crystal Hollows overlay, which is even a fatter overlay that shows you information about all the crystals you have or are missing, which automaton parts you need to collect, which divan artifacts you are missing, and also automatic detection of whether or not they're already in your inventory or storage menu. There's some extra utility in the form of a divin mine solver where you can just hold your metal detector in two different positions and the mod will triangulate exactly which block you need to get your reward. As well as a solver for the puzzler's daily puzzle and alerts when you dig up titanium so you don't miss it. There are extensive customization options available in the NEU menu where you can modify everything from the position of the overlays to where all of the text displays on the overlays. Finally, NEU supports the retexturing of mithril and other blocks in the Dwarven Mines or Crystal Hollows through the enabling of the setting, and you can try this out if your texture patch supports this feature. Fishing There are some fishing parts to NEU that largely customize the visuals of fishing and make it look much nicer and make it so much easier to actually catch things. The most useful of which shows you a yellow exclamation mark over your bobber when a fish is approaching, which turns red at the time where you can cast your rod in for a catch, accompanied by a sound if you want it. There is also the option to differentiate your own fishing bobber and particles from other players so you don't get confused, and obligatory chroma options because chroma makes everything look nicer. You can customize this as much as you want to fit your own aesthetic. NEU Auction House NEU's auction house is a very fun to auction house that's actually disabled by default because it can cause lag on low end PCs. This is an auction house viewer that loads entries from the API and allows you to search basically every item that you want from anywhere in the game, even if you don't have a booster cookie, essentially making this a free alternative to using booster cookies for easy access to the auction house. This auction house lets you browse everything by name category, and several more search criteria, and is a much better experience than using the traditional auction house. If you have the ability to use it, you might as well. Improved SB menus. Improved SB menus is an option to customize your skyblock menus so that they look better. There are a lot of options and styles here to mess around with, and four unused style options, which can be used by texture packs to make their pack fit with the mod. Play around with these yourself and choose a style that you like or just disable it if you prefer what vanilla gives you. NEU Customize This one is for you customization freaks, 
or those people who have an item that they are somehow really attached to. Type in slash and EU customize with a Z whilst holding any item you like as long as it has a UUID will allow you to change its name and enchantment to link colors. There's a lot of options here for formatting codes and colors, and there is also the option to disable the enchantment glint if you want an item to stand out for whatever reason. This customization persists even when logging out, in chests, displays, and even when trading items back from people. This customization is client-side only though, and nobody else can see your customization except you. Profile Viewer At any time, you can type slash PV and the person's name to view their profile in-game without needing to go to an external website or anything like that. Nothing much to say about this, but it's a very useful feature for sure, and there is also an option to enable a button for the profile viewer inside people's profile when you right-click on them. Calendar The NEU calendar isn't really a calendar and is more like notifications. These do things like show pop-ups on the screen a couple minutes before events start, and when they do start, and you can choose how frequent these notifications appear. This information can also be showed in your inventory screen at the top of the screen at a glance, or show you when the night arrives during the Spooky Festival. Trade Menu NEU also features a custom trade menu, which is designed to stop scamming. This shows an overview of everything being traded on both sides, including their values, and adds a 3 second timer before you can accept trades to ensure you double check everything and don't get scammed. I highly recommend using this feature to make sure you don't get scammed whilst trading with people. Auction House Tweets Auction House Tweets adds a bunch of features that prevent you from being scammed or accidentally putting up an item for way too cheap essentially saving you from accidentally adding or missing a zero somewhere by giving you a warning whenever you bin an item for 10% less than its average price. This value is adjustable. The search bar is also tweaked to give you some more options, such as searching by dungeon stars, showing a preview with autofill options of what you are searching, and also displays your 5 past searches so you can conveniently view them again. Finally, there's some other features that don't really fit anywhere else in this video. There's a pet overlay which shows you leveling information about your currently summoned pet for the sake of viewing what you're leveling up. An accessory bag overlay that shows you what stats your bag gives you, how much of what rarity you have, and a list of all the accessories that you are missing or have duplicated in your bag. NEU also supports retexturing the scrolls of items where texture packs support it, and the ability to change the color of the text on certain skyblock enchants, if you're really into customization. You can also shorten or add commas to damage values and customize a few more things about the mod or skyblock in the mist menu of slash NEU. And I think that's everything. NEU is just a great mod, and the 2.0 release came out the same time as this video. Give it a try if you haven't already, and join the Mulberry's Bush server to get updates to the mod in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.